street side knife review. Oh yeah. Again. <laughs> There's Black Max. Yeah, this is a Sunday here in the park. Nice weather day. Probably be a little bit more traffic than last time we sat here. It's busy in the park, but for some reason these picnic tables aren't being used. Yeah. I don't know why. This one and that one. We don't <laughs> we're not sure why people put them here, but we're just gonna use them. Yeah. Okay, we're actually sitting downhill. Yes. With sharp pointy knives. To towards that, us. That want to fall towards us. We're using the clips here. Yeah. Okay. Well, people look for us for knife safety. Knife safety is and what we're known is for. exactly yeah, a, a, good, a, a good example of it. Great example of that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we've got every Civivi knife in our collection, I think. Yeah. I think I got them all. Okay. Okay, so we've got, this is the Corsair. Uh, I want to say 68 bucks. Okay. This is the McKenna, McKenna. the Eichem Designs uh, McKenna. What was that, around 60 something? Yeah. You got the Backlash. Backlash. That's one of the original three. Mm -hmm. $42.50. Um, then you've Anthropos? got Anthropos. Anthropos, also yes. Isham Design. Yeah, that was, uh, I don't know, 60 ish. $42.50 on the Praxis. Praxis. And then Naja. Naja. So that one is also $42.50. Yes. Uh, we were having this conversation though. The Civivi knives. Mm -hmm. I'll see there's a car coming. Frankie's yes. like, yeah. I don't care. There's nothing illegal about this. No, it just still seems a little weird, I it guess. It might be. But yeah, anyway. So. The original three, they started us off with the forty-two fifty price, yeah. and then of course the action on these. Here's just the backlash, for example, is amazing. Mm -hmm. For only forty-two fifty, you got an okay steel. What was this? The the nine CR eighteen? Yeah, it was. Yeah. That's right. Which uh, you know, composition wise, really is an upgrade over the eight CR. Mm -hmm. So we got. You know, we got used to this, like, wow, okay. Ooh, 4250. Yeah, they hit the market with this, and then mm -hmm. everything else since then. Has kind of been up in the, in a little has bit in price, yes. Been what, at least 20 bucks more? Yeah, it has been. At least 20 bucks more, more like 25. It has, yeah. So maybe that was just an intro was, treat. Isn't this one like 80 bucks? I think it, it's 80. Yeah. 80. See our video on any of these. We have videos yeah. on all of them, but. Yeah, they did raise their price. Uh -huh. Are they still justified in general? We're gonna say yes. Yeah. They are kind of a standard in For the, the budget line. Yeah, and, and it depends. High-end budget. It, yeah, exactly. We did that video earlier this year. High-end budget. Um, some of these Civivis are really gonna fit a high-end budget knife uh -huh. category. So, okay. We got a new one for you. We got a new one. After that intro. Yeah, way to draw it out. Well, we're checking out Civivi knives. <laughs> okay, this is our latest in the collection. We got it from Blade HQ. Yes. And Frankie, you especially like this one. I do really like him. I'll let you introduce it okay. then. The Duras. Nice. He's kind of a little turdy. <laughs> oh, come on. Just to start with, he's brown, but I like him. It's a brown knife. You I could know. say that about, <laughs> it's turdy, okay. <laughs> We're not going to go with that. I, I should edit that. No, look at him. He's a cute little turd, though. Don't even say that. Sorry. It's more like a chode knife. He's, he, yeah, he's a chode. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not even go with this. Okay, I am tempted to restart no, the video. No, no, we're fine. Okay. okay. Just keep going. No, this is the Duras. Okay, price-wise, let's get that out of the way. $65.05. $65.05, so it's slightly cheaper than a couple of these. $23 more than the right. basic. You can see, let's go with, okay, the Praxis. Here's a bigger one. Yeah. Okay. And then let's go with the McKenna, the smallest they've done yes. so far. Okay. I forget the official blade length on McKenna, but it's it's definitely sh uh, short in this dimension. Yes. So the Duras, that's a three inch blade. Three inch, yeah. Okay. Um, really lengthwise, they're probably similar here. Yeah, overall length is 6.88. 6.88. Yes. So. Yeah, a little bit shorter overall, okay. And yeah, that's a three inch blade with a full size finger choil. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a liner lock. Um, all of these are liner locks, are they not? Yeah. Yes, they I are. I think so, yeah. So nothing new there, the liner lock. Um, how, is it, how is it in your hand? I really like it. I like, what I was gonna bring up is I really like the direction CVV is going right now okay. with smaller knives because like the first originals, they were just a bit big. Well, they were all about the same size. Yeah. The, the first three. And then, yeah, okay, there's, there's probably the biggest we've seen so far. This is the Naja. And they were all, I mean, yeah, great, great value for the price. Frankie, I have to show it off. Your the edge. The 9CR. Yep. Yep. I did With sharpen With my sap one. on it still. Did you use that one for sap? Yes, I did. Come on, don't. Look, he's, 
he has like pug hair now attached to him. Pug hair, well that's normal. Okay, <laughs> well anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, they were all about the same size, weren't they? Yeah. Blade length especially, but yeah, they're doing some smaller knives lately, and let's bring the McKenna out. Well, okay. even just like the Anthropos too is about the it was same size. a little size. smaller. Yeah. yeah. So they started inching down a little bit, and now they're going towards my size, which is good. I like it. Yeah. So this is uh, this is over the years kind of been your favorite size knife. Mm -hmm. I would say call it a round three inch blade. Yeah, it's about yeah. right. It used to be shorter than that, but you came up. I came in up blade and came length. down. I came down, and yeah. we've kind of uh, yeah we meet in the middle on a lot we, of knives these days. We met in the middle. Yeah. Is this like gonna... a moment? Yes, I was gonna make it a moment, oh, but okay. geez, no, it's just fine. Right, anyway, no moment anymore. Okay, what was with that? I was, <laughs> I was just, I thought I was being friendly. Okay, hide the knives, Frankie. There's a car going past. Shut up, I know. Hide weird. the knives. He's looking at us. What are you looking at? Slice she you. was. She? That was a she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway. Anyway. Joke's on her. Let's get some stats out of the way, though. We already said three inch blade. Three inch, yes. What is that blade steel? It is a D2. Is it marked? It's not. No, it's not. Oh. Non marked D2. Is this unmarked completely? Yeah. I guess they do I like that with that. most of theirs, huh? Yeah. I actually really do like that about yeah. them. So it is There's D2. Nothing. Okay. This is actually a hollow grind. Yes. All right. Let's see if you can see that. I don't know. Probably not. Satin finish, hollow grind, drop point. Yeah, satin finish on all three varieties. We should mention that there are three varieties of this G10 scale. Yes. Three different colors. Gray. Okay. The brown. Which, yeah, we won't bring that up again. And orange. And orange, yeah. I can show a photo of those real quick. Mm -hmm. Blade HQ. Well, and it's hard to tell. A lot of grays are really hard to actually figure out what color gray they are. Because if you look at the other color, like the actual um, picture of the gray with the brown next to it, it looks blue again. So it's kind of yeah. like... Oh, gray can well, be like that. It. We brought it. Oh, actually, It actually yeah. looks like this this color. Jumping ahead a little bit I suppose but this is uh, we did a recent review of this knife this is the Ganzo FH61 which oh, didn't have a name I think side. they were calling it were they calling it like the Rhino? Yes everybody's calling yeah. it the Rhino. Um, this is a good knife for Ganzo these are only you know what 28 30 yeah. 32 dollars somewhere in there. And they are actually identical really in size it seems like. Yeah yeah and that's one of the reasons I want to bring that out. Um, some similarities there even though it's a completely different design but overall yeah you're talking, uh, let's call it $30. 30 bucks. Okay. And 65. 65. But, Civivi is pretty proven. Yeah, and of course, it, to those that don't already know, most of you guys probably do, but Civivi is the budget brand of Wii. For Wii knives. Yeah. And Wii knives is one of the kings of one of the best Chinese, Chinese knives production knives. Of course, yeah. these are Chinese made, yeah. But yeah, we brought the Ganzo out. We'll set that aside for now. What were we saying about that? Okay, so yeah, G10 scales. It's mm -hmm. got some some milling. Um, do you call it milling on G10? I guess you do. Yeah, it's got some texture built into it. A rib for her pleasure. Of course, you have to say it. Yeah, right there. You can see the little uh, cutout for right or left hand. Yes. So lefties, you can have this knife too. Take a look at that clip. So it is a black um, finish on that clip there. Pretty much deep carry. That's the yeah. clip they're going with a lot of them. Um, yeah, it's the same clip as a lot of their knives, right? Oh yeah, we had swapped that this one out too. Let's oh, where was that? It. Which one was that from? Um, I think it was this one. That's right. Yeah, our, it was. Our McKenna. Yeah, the clip, which is a titanium clip, that's off of the Corsair. Yes. Yeah. So don't look at that as, yeah. That's, it's not how it comes. It's pimped. Yeah. 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 Okay, but uh, same clip here. Yeah, I'm just going to do this because it's going to want to slide towards me. Yes, we're sitting downhill. <laughs> Okay. Like I said, safety first, guys. It is a flipper, of course. All right. And here's what we expect from Civivi. That detent. Awesome sound. It, this one's still not quite broken in yet. Maybe this one's taken slightly longer. Or it's because it's a short blade, but it's, it's not quite as smooth yet. Mm -hmm. But listen. It's got the Civivi detent. Yeah, there I really go. like the size and the shape of that. It's a nice knife. It's a chode knife. Yeah, he is. And we're not saying that as a bad thing, guys. No, I mean, chodes like chodes aren't always bad. Um, when Most you're talking, of the time, when you're talking knives. Right. Let's, when you're talking <laughs> knives, let's get it. Let's, let's just put clear. it out there. <laughs> okay. I like I like chodes and knives. We were um, we were cutting up some cardboard. We've always got cardboard to break yeah. down at the house, and we were cutting up some cardboard just before we left here. Mm -hmm. And this thing 
is a slicer. Yeah, he it's, slices very nicely. It's a shorter knife. It's a beast of a knife, though. Mm -hmm. It cut through and made short work of, of some, uh, we had some USPS boxes we had to get through. Yeah. Yeah. With the tape and the gunk and everything. Oh, it, it didn't just matter. Sliced right yeah, through it. it didn't matter. See a little bit of that residue on there, but yeah, some flats to grab too for your sharpeners. This would be an easy job. Falls off the cliff, okay, of the choil there. Yeah, let's take a look at that liner. So, I do standard like liner. Going away from the bright colored ones. You're, you don't like the bright colored ones? No, I'm. Well, I'm done with them. They've got orange in that knife, the Nodron. No, no, I meant the liners. The liners? Yeah. Oh, the gold? I yeah. never minded the gold. What? I don't think they should go away completely from it. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe not in this color or whatever, yeah, or whatever, but... Or whatever. Shut up. Um, but yeah, there's the standard liner. Easy access to it, okay? Yeah. Not uncomfortable at all. Mm -hmm. And it's contoured for your fingy, too. For your fingy? Fingy. Yeah. See the contour. <laughs> yeah. It's a, I mean, I can get, it's cramped, but I could do a full four mm -hmm. fingers on there. Nice. But yeah, I was trying uh, like this. Uh, yeah, for the slicing. it slices good like that. It works well. Yeah. You can choke up on them. Um, let me just show them real quick. I feel like I've been keeping yeah, this knife for myself. Yeah, you've been but. kind of a knife hoarder over there. Okay. They are like a skeletonized steel liner on both sides. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you Which guys can see Which makes you wonder, how not. much does he weigh? Oh, true, yeah. Let's see so if this works. They've kept the weight down a little bit. We've gotten used to this scale, really. Can you guys see that? Hopefully. 3.67. 3 3.67. So, I mean, wow, about, that's exactly the right stat. It's about what it should be, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, he's a little heavier. Yeah. Like, say, compared to... Hmm, actually, it's probably about the same size. This is the see. backlash. 3.92. Yeah. Okay. It's about the... Even though he's shorter, he's well, a little girthier. One of the reasons, though, yeah, it is girthier. The the uh, G10, the G10 scales. This yeah. is a slightly wider knife. Yeah, he is. And that's what that's what brings in that uh, the chode that status. Chode factor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The chode factor. The chode factor. It is a it is a chunkier knife though. Point five three. Not even that bad, I guess. It's it's a little bit above what we consider average, which is half. Inch. Actually, maybe the back, his. His toxi is a little bit fatter. His tox? You gotta explain that. His buttocks. <laughs> I think he calls it toxi. Oh, no, it's the same. It just looked it looked wider in the back. Okay, let's see here. Let's check the blade thickness. You don't go on the switch though. You gotta get Point on the zero flats. Nine? Get on the flats. It's gotta be more than that. Point one zero? Yeah. yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, it's hard to because of it being a switch. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's a it's a it's a slightly thinner blade stock. Yeah. yeah which really helps when you're uh, breaking down cardboard slicing. and slicing through plastic. Frankie, what? slicing through plastic. Slicing through plastic. Oh, before we do it though. What? Before we get the table all messy. Um, well, no, let's put these away actually. Well, let's compare it with some other chodies. I want to compare it to the Judge Trotties. Okay, what do you got? I got the Les George 0900. Really almost about the same size. Yeah. Much more expensive, zero tolerance knife made in the USA. Les George design, good knife. And here is, um, why can't I think of the name this of him? This is the Wee Valiant. Valiant, that's right. That's the Valiant. Okay, so this is the father company mm -hmm. uh, of Civivi. Yeah. So there you go, it's, it's similar size. Yeah, very similar, but Open just one. like, you know, better materials that's a cool knife yeah i like it a lot yeah. i do too people kind of didn't like him to start with but i think he's a great chode <laughs> is it okay let's get rid of those okay um i'll hand you a stack of oh and you have one more over there to compare to also i do i do we brought it okay oh, that's gosh. gonna fall this is the techno spider co techno two this is the techno two Mm -hmm. Wire clip, just for the heck of it. Oh, it makes him look so little. A little bit. That's yeah. crazy, huh? Yeah. And of course, yeah. If you're on the budget end, consider something like this. FH61. See, uh, you know, just type in birdshot and whatever knife. You can see videos on all of these that we brought. Yes. So we tend to make videos. We tend to make videos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Um, you can take that too. Actually, I can keep it over here. Why not? Oh, All right. Okay, here you go. Let's here. put this away. Okay. Let's see how this gets. Guys, don't get used to this. I'm saying this every time now. Don't get used to this, but let's do a little slashy slashy. Slashy slash. Okay. Because we got a nice, um, where do we want to go here? I don't know. Can you reach that? Nice. How about there? Are you calling me short? No, it's just the length. Can you this reach just, it? This just doesn't seem completely... It doesn't at all. Yeah, Good. hopefully somebody's driving by when we do this. Again, we're just in the road. I like doing it this way because then you get doused. It's funny. It's okay, funny well, like that. It, what's not funny, though, is if you keep swinging that knife this way. So as well, long as you're you... Not, in, you're not in Look my... Look at that. She's going to slice me. No, I'm not. My arm's not that long. No, you're definitely coming towards me this time. Okay. On the other on the other slicings, you've been going across this way. So, here, I'll slide down a little bit. Okay, ready? I don't know. This is just not safe. Oh, Make and sure. It's completely angled too. I'm actually gonna get up for this one. There we go. Ready? Hold on. Okay, do Ooh, your thing. Nice. Okay, ready? It's a shorter blade, so we weren't gonna cut it. In oh, you were so close. Let's see so it. So close. Set it down. Ready? No, work. just set it down real quick. Okay. I was close. It almost went all the way through. I'm surprised. Put the blade down there next to wait, it. Wait, wait. Have... You gonna do one more? Yes, all because right. I need to get it all the way through. Ready? I don't know if you can do it. Oh, don't tell me I can't do something, because that makes me do it even more. Then don't do it. You can't do it. Ready? Dude. I did it. You got it. I'm honestly surprised the blade is too short. I know you're cutting. Oh, you weren't even cutting at the thinnest part. Okay, sweet. I can do go. it. You know me. Nice job. Thanks. I need to try this sometime. I know. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll clean up our mess here and uh, get going. Actually, Hopefully the traffic dry. traffic wasn't too bad. Mm -mm. They're probably doing a knife review over there. I bet they are. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything. The Civivi Duras, 65 bucks. It's sweet. I mean, it's, Civivi is doing um, lots of different sizes, lots of different styles of knives, and they're excellent. The quality is excellent. The fit and finish is yeah. consistent, and the action is hard to beat. I really like this knife. Yeah. I really, really do. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Even though you called it a turd. Hey. Okay. All right. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.